Welcome back to Satisfactory. Just admiring the power tower and the fact that it's perfectly full again now that we've completed our nuclear power plant and that's all good. We are going to build a little packaging factory. Now, this is not going to be something that we're going to build exclusively so we can churn it out, you know, 30 times in one shot. This is more about having the flexibility to build this as a unit, right? We just want to be able to plop this down and be done the next time we need to build a larger scale packaging operation. Spoiler alert, next episode we're going to build a larger scale packaging operation. So we're targeting 12 to 13 packagers and we're going to just put it down like this. And then when we're done, we're going to assume that we're going to use some of the uh, vertical supply layer stuff. So we're going to have some manually built end caps, but the hard parts will be built and ready to go. What am I doing here? I am building splitters where I don't want splitters. I want mergers. We'll get this eventually. There we go. <laughs> Merge everything down the line. And like I said, this will just be the guts of this thing. We will put the rest right over here, just outside. And then we'll also have a service layer option that we can put just outside as well. You know what's interesting? And I'm thinking about maybe making use of this. When you're building with blueprints, you are unsnapped. Right? Ooh, that was a total miss. Hello. So we could theoretically put a conveyor wall wall right here even though it's not exactly where a wall should be right and that's evidenced by the fact that if we go to the edge here there's this space maybe we'll make that part of the design No, we're not. We're going to have one foundation worth of edge on this, so we'll have room to get everything in there. And then I think I want to try to squeeze in one more of these. You see, well, I'll say that here in a second, because I want to try to build some storage into this.
need to move that over just a bit. I guess the other way to do it is I could just line this up. the wrong way. Turn it around. Now we got it. And then we'll try to, we're going to try to slide in a little bit of storage. What we'll do is we'll nestle it right here. a secondary storage that turns it like that and then all this will come out and go in and out and in we might have to do something funny to get this to connect into here right but the basics are there Put in one more of these actually. Having a time with my mergers and splitters today. So that's six. And then if we put a little bit of glass down. You know what? I think it's single panel. Down a nice floor for the second level. Why did that? Oh, it turned on purpose. Thank you for helping me. Let's move this over just one tick. One of the advantages of setting something like this up is that, one, you get to build this right by all of your stuff, right? So it's 
easy to, if you need more stuff, to pick up that stuff as opposed to building in the field. And then when you go to set up what you want to take with you, you add the blueprint to your to-do list. And that tells you everything you need to make the build successful. You don't have to guess. Let's put some splitters down here. I could go down one way, then stop, and then come back the other way. Make this an internal. Let's do that. For instance, I just ran out of iron plates. And I've got a ton of construction materials just sitting around here that I can use. And get right back to building. If I was building this in the field, I might have to go back for 20 minutes. Get some iron plates. There's barely enough room. And then up here, we're going to do the full eight. So given, this gives you the most options, right? Sometimes it makes sense to have a little more capacity than your inputs will allow, especially when you start using drones and things like that. Sometimes it makes sense to have a little extra capacity. gonna put end caps on both sides of this so we're just gonna build the walls on these two sides and then we'll build a little bit more probably one foundation's worth of uh supply might as well put ourselves a nice clean glass roof on here
I'm trying to decide if I want to do anything with like these type of walls, any kind of design. I don't think I do. I think I'm okay with just glass. And then we'll finish it off with ceiling lights. Let's do ceiling. if we put these lights where the middle bar is on the middle of this right here that'll make it a little bit more centered and aligned Just do the same thing down here. And I suppose right here in this corner, we can drop in a nice little light switch. Off of that, we'll just connect this to here, upgrade this to Mark II perhaps. Uh, single wall will probably do. If you're really obligated to keep the lights on separate circuits, it's probably not 100% necessary. I have been in situations though where I hooked it up in such a way where <laughs> every light on my entire factory was controlled by a single light switch. So I have a tendency to go overboard, making sure everything is separate.
Oh, we need one more high level wall outlet. It's going to be one machine connection short. I just realized I forgot to pump in the gas. This will be easy. want to package nitrogen gas. We're building this in support of our cooling system. As you can see on my particle enrichment milestone, we've completed the electromagnetics when we built the baby's first nuclear power plant. So now we just need to sort of go down that line and build the rest of these. Now this is going to be the hardest part. How do we connect? Do we connect these two and then join it? Do I connect this one and then join it? going to be an easy way to make this look perfect, but what we'll do is we'll just sort of do this manually. Oh, that's pretty good. Really? Oh, it does go up ever so slightly. Ah. Luckily, it's gas, so lift points don't matter. So that's six here, eight here, 14 total machines, eight times 60? Yeah, 60 fluid tanks per minute. So 14 times 60 is 840. So one belt's not gonna be able to handle all this. But it's okay because we're not trying to handle all of it necessarily with perfect precision. If we really wanted to, though, we could alter this. Let's see. 780 divided by 60. Well, it's 13. I should have one less in here. I'm going to keep the extra.
So all of this will come out. It'll go into this one and then come out of this one. And that'll all happen in the magical service layer. And then we'll make this blue because it's gonna be extra cold, but we'll make it 50% intensity. Okay, so there you go. A nice nitrogen gas packager unit. Still leaves you a little room to do some decoration. It's obviously going to be very icy cold and blue. And then we'll put a service layer on each side. It'll be a nice little easy to put down. I was halfway tempted to put a drone port up here, but we're not going to do it. We've got our drone port blueprint to work with. So that's it. We're done. 14 blueprints if, or 14 packagers. If you choose to build this yourself, you might want to get rid of one to make it 100% efficient. I want the extra one. So when things are flying around, things get backed up. We always have one extra machine that's ready to go and uh, processes the things during the, the, uh, the slowdowns between the time where drones are flying back and forth. Just gives you a little extra time, a little extra flexibility. Worst comes, worst comes to the worst, I can cycle two of these down, right? I can just make this one 50%. Let's do it, just in case. Might as well save a little power where we can. There, now it's officially 13. All right, thanks for hanging out short video i might try to crank out the uh the building of this nitrogen plant because we'll have to put down a couple of drones we'll have to fly out the containers we'll build the nitrogen pressurizers and then the individual nodes then we'll hook that all up to this yeah i might just do that today as well so you get two videos today this short one for the blueprint and then the longer one for the for the build Thanks for hanging out. As always, I really do appreciate it. We'll see you next time.